been unusually cold here the past few weeks. As a result, we have some unwanted guests. This may help illustrate the point. That's all chewed up. This, look at that. I use these things every day. Look at this, there's a little mouse hole in this dog food bag. And then the other day, I saw one run across the floor right in front of me. I have to admit, it was pretty disgusting. Obviously, we have a mouse problem, which means M is for mousetrap. So I did a lot of research and I came across one trap called the log roll, which I ordered off Amazon, which I have right here put it in a bucket, we put peanut butter on it. The idea is that the mouse walks across this, he gets to the middle, and when he gets there, it rolls across and he falls in the bucket. It's a live trap, so you can put water in the bucket or you can just leave it empty, which is what I'm gonna do, and then relocate these mice outside. So I set up the trap, added the bait, and nobody came. Okay, I gotta back up here for a second. I didn't actually set this trap up today. I got it a couple of weeks ago and set it up but somebody kept eating the bait off of it. So I didn't have the time to put it together and do it right. I just set it in the basement for a couple weeks, came back to it to get the bucket today to start setting everything up to film this. And when I did, this is what happened. Oh! There was a dead mouse in that bucket in the basement for like a week and a half. So I don't know if it was like the stench of death in here or exactly what it was. I mean, there was a dead mouse in there for like a week and a half, I guess. So I'm sure that probably had something to do with it. Now I got to conduct a test to see, is it the bucket? Is it the bar? Is it the peanut butter? What is it? I'm gonna set some bait for these mice tonight and see if they come back. And if they do, then we'll know it's the bucket. Okay, into the first night. Let's see what we got. Ugh, those like beady little eyes. Oh, they're fighting. Every time this camera sees motion, it sends me a notification. I have a notification like every 10 minutes all through the night. Definitely the bucket. Time to make a trip. doesn't work. Okay, when I bought this thing off Amazon, I didn't read the negative reviews, but now I'm, I'm looking through it again. There's people that say it doesn't work, it doesn't work on rats, it didn't catch one mouse or a rat, and then somebody else wrote, mouse got the peanut butter every night, I feel like I was feeding a pet. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. That's, yeah, that's how I feel too. So it, the, here's the problem. It's like a little tight on the bucket. It doesn't spin really as much as you think that it would. And so I figured, okay, well, we'll give this thing a shot. But I can tell now that it's just not sensitive enough to spin around. There's actually a way that you can build this out of PVC pipe so that it will fit the bucket. And I'm gonna try that and see if it works better. Oh, he's close. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's around the edge. Oh, he rolled it again. Chicken in now. Come on, buddy. You got to go for it. You got to go for it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it works. It works so much better than the other one. Ooh. Oh man, if that guy doesn't go in, he's going to be hard to catch. Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh man, they're really trying to get out of there. Well, I don't know if that's all of them or not. There is another one that got away. I mean, I guess I'll have to try to catch him tomorrow night. 
juice. I put the peanut butter on the bottom a little bit, so maybe let's see if that'll get him to lean over the edge. Are you serious? Oh. oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. This is ridiculous. Uh, and then he just comes back and he's just eating the rest of the night, eating the peanut butter. This is insane, this is crazy. This guy is gonna be hard to catch. Got uh, this new trap. It says catches four mice. They just like go inside there and they step on. I'll show you in a second. Um, so it's a humane trap. So it's a catch and hold. Uh, so it doesn't kill them or anything. I can take them outside. Instructions: bait the traps, place the trap. After capture, release mice at least two miles away. <laughs> two miles. I mean, how many mice do you think are within just? One mile of this house. I mean, it's gotta be thousands. Two miles. I'm gonna put them in the backyard, so apparently they're gonna come back. I don't think jumping's gonna be a problem with this, but this guy's pretty smart, so uh, hopefully this works. Set it up right here. Mm. Meow mix. Well, I wish it didn't have to come to this, but Tony, you're just destroying too much stuff and I can't deal with it anymore. So, Gozer has come for you. I'm not really looking forward to this, but. We should test it out. I'm definitely not putting my finger inside of this thing. It's super sensitive. It's gonna be quick, buddy. Don't worry, it's going to be quick. All right, I'm not gonna show you the video because it's kind of gruesome. The good news is that it works. The bad news is it works. So in total, we caught three, four, five, 11 mice in the house so far. And I know for a fact that is not all of them. How many mice do you think are left? At least a hundred. No rest for the weary. See you next week. Oh man, look at that. Looks pretty irresistible. The bait thief. What are you doing in here? Yeah, you smell that. <laughs> oh yeah, it smells so good, huh? You can't have any, sorry. It will give you the runs.